everybody welcome back to my channel Sabrina here um, and we are working on my enchanted rose and today I am prepared um, <laughs> and I thought I will go on with the tag the get to know me better tag that are that, which is pretty long, so <laughs> I guess I will just keep on with the questions. So, um, I'm just doing this like I used to do it. I am working on my picture and asking nice questions. Uh, not asking, answering nice questions. So, um, there are a few categories. And the first one is likes, and I am trying to um, go on with five questions each topic. So, uh, question number 15, 16, <laughs> 16. What's your go-to guilty pleasure? Candy, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, just, okay. Um, and keep on working. So <laughs> that's the thing I always forget. Um, yeah, candy. It's chocolate candy, uh, caramel, caramel, and ice cream. I am totally a big ice cream guy, person. <laughs> um, eight twenty-three. Eight twenty-three is this thing. Okay, next one. In the summer, would you rather sleep with the window open or blast the AC? Um, well, um, I don't have an AC, so I don't know, I have to figure out how to do that. Um, I don't have an AC, I have a fan. And usually my window is open. But honestly, I just do it when my boyfriend is around. <laughs> when he's not here and I'm alone. Um, I usually have the windows closed when I sleep. And the thing is, when he's not around, I really am not a good sleeper when he's not there. <laughs> so... I usually sleep just two or three hours and then so I can open the windows because I'm afraid that someone is getting in and I'm alone I don't like that so yeah <clears throat> then next one um, what's your favorite quote from a TV show movie book Oh, um, I don't think I have one. Um, um, uh, earlier when when not earlier, <laughs> um, in the past when we passed on those friend books where you can write in your favorite color, hobbies, animals, stuff like that when you are very young, or we did that when we were pretty young. Um, I always wrote the quote from the little, is it called the little prince? <laughs> I'm not even sure. Um, the one with the... I'm sorry, I don't know it in, 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 in English, so... It's the quote where it says that you only see the most important and the most beautiful things with your heart because the those big things are not visible for your eyes. So, that's... I, I, but I'm sorry, I don't know it. How this? I don't know the quote in English. I can tell you in German, but <laughs> so. Um, 
So yeah. And those are very, very, very beautiful. And this is one of the best sentences there is. Alright, next one. Um how old were you when you had your first celebrity crush and who was it? Oh my god, I don't know. Um I think my first celebrity crush <laughs> was when I was very young, like seven or eight, and that was from um the Disney Club. We had a show called Disney Club in Germany and there were three hosts. One was a girl, she was awesome, she was just she was awesome. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> One of the other ones. <laughs> because yeah, so but it wasn't a big movie star or something or someone like that. It was it was just a host from a show that I loved watching when I was like six, seven, or even younger, I don't even remember. Yeah. And the last one. What's one thing that you can instantly make your day better? Oh, that's easy, it's music. Music, I have to... There are a couple of songs that Oh, that just make my day better. There are not many, a few. Um, right, that just make me feel good. It's, um, mostly it's the summer um, music. I mean, I don't even like summer. <laughs> summer is like, I'm, I'm the cold, I'm more on the cold side. I love winter, I love it when it's cold and it's very cozy and And the things, but I do love the summer music. I really love it. The the good vibe, happy songs. Yeah. So music is instantly making my day better. All right. Um. Hmm. All right. Then the next one is career. So. I guess I missed something, but okay. <laughs> I think I missed five questions. Um, then I keep going. When will you know what you've made it? Um, when I'm happy. When I just achieve a goal that I know I work for very hard. When I do get the job that I love, that I really like doing, when I'm not going grumpy to work. And that's when I've made it. It's it's not about money or earning like a ton. It's when I know that I I like my job, when I know that people appreciate what I do, when people um, say that this is important and that it, that it's needed. That's just when I say I've made it. Um, are you looking forward to retiring or do you plan to work as long as possible? Well, I think... Um, we don't even know if there is a retirement when we are in the age of retiring, so <laughs> we'll see. I can answer that in about 30 years, 35 years, um, but I don't know. I really, I don't know. I mean, I love being at home. I love doing things around the house, around my home, and... So, I'm not a person who 
needs to go out. I really I love it at home. So I don't know if I will go back to work when I could retire. Or maybe I will just work for a couple of hours a week. Maybe it's more that. Or this is this is what I what I can imagine that I will um work for a couple of hours. Not a full time job anymore. Um have you ever had imposter syndrome? No. No. <laughs> what do you think about workaholics? Um <clears throat> uh, I'm fine <laughs> with them. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's great and I think it's um, important that some people do work their butts off. Um, but I also think that um, they shouldn't go over the healthy part. It's when you when you never had a have a break or when you never step back i think it could be bad on your health and or on your family and i think <laughs> as long as everybody is okay with it as long as everybody's happy with it um I think it's great, but as soon as there is something going wrong, I think they should step back from being a workaholics. Right. <laughs> that was. Oh no, I have one more question. Um, what qualities do you look for in a boss? Um, loyalty. I mean, everybody is saying that your the people that are working at a company they should be loyal, but I think a boss should be loyal too, because I think it's nothing worse than when you are getting replaced, like from now to today. No, <laughs> from today to tomorrow when it said, okay, we don't need you anymore. So bye bye. I think this is bad. I think a boss should be loyal. I think a boss should be fair. Um, a boss shouldn't be... Um, um, shouldn't be... Um, making a difference between men and women in the in the salary or in the in the whatever and that's what I do look in a boss and I don't like it when they are saying like you're so good so awesome and then they're like okay you're not good enough so this is nothing I do like all right then the next one is family Family. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Does your family take vacations together? No, we don't. We don't. My dad is a total workaholic. I think he is not on a vacation since 15 years. And we're almost 20, actually, <laughs> almost 20 years. Um, and my mom is more the stay-at-home vacation <laughs> person. I mean, she loves to travel, but but I think the best vacation is when we can just be at home and it's okay and everybody's getting along. But usually because I don't live at home, with my parents, we don't have a family vacation anymore. 
<clears throat> What's your favorite family memory? Um, I guess it's the vacations. I loved, I loved seeing a lot of, or not a lot. <laughs> I loved to see um, a couple of islands, a Europe islands, European, European islands, um, like. Uh, where did we were? <laughs> we were on, on um, Greek islands and Spanish islands. So I love that. Um, yeah. So <laughs> it's just the the hotel breakfast, walking to the beach, and just the sands, the waves, and and driving. Or not me driving, <laughs> I was too small. Um, the Usually we did rent a car and we drove around this island and we found beautiful beaches and things that we probably wouldn't have seen if we were just staying at the at a pool or on the beach that was closest to our hotel so that was that was something I really did enjoy <clears throat> I'm sorry my, my leg my, my leg is so sleeping so I'm really trying to be okay with that but it kind of hurts a little bit um oh next um what TV family most reminds you of your own uh Hmm, that's a very good question. Um, I don't think there is because the, the TV show families always have more than one kid. So <laughs> I'm an only child, which I love. But I don't think that there is a family it has only one child. No, I don't think there is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I want to get rid of this one. Okay. Um. Uh, do you ever wish you were raised differently? Um. Yes, I did, of course. Because my dad was pretty strict and he was very loud and he kind of snapped pretty fast so he wasn't he wasn't happy when I had a bad when I'm a, a bad grade so he would pretty much shout at me and make me feel even worse so I think but he he never got it that that he shouting at me <laughs> didn't help so uh yeah sometimes i wish that i was raised a little bit differently but none of the main parts so the main things were pretty close and um a very very not close what am i talking <laughs> they were very good because i learn to stand up for myself, not to lose my voice, or to raise my voice especially. Not to say yes to everything, to think about many things, to maybe overthink, um, not to move too fast. That's just what I learned, so that's actually very important. <laughs> and I like that, and that was very good. Um, oh, what's the best piece of advice your family member has given you? Yeah, it's actually just what I did say to not to remain quiet, not to let someone else decide for you, not to. Um, 
be okay with everything. <laughs> and yeah, just to speak up for yourself because if you don't do it, who should do it? So I think that's um, important and that's what I can say to everyone, everybody who is not doing it or who is afraid of doing it. I did. I was afraid of it until I said no. Why should I say okay? Yes, I do. Yes, I will do this. Yes, I'm doing this. Even though I say no, I won't. No, I'm not okay with that. So. Raising your voice is like the best thing you can do. <clears throat> right. Um, so we're back to the next. The next topic is values. I think. Um, if you could snap your finger and instantly make the world better, what would you do? Um, whew, I think there would be too much stuff that I would want to do. I honestly, I don't know. There are too many things that I would love to change, but I, that I can't change. I would love to support more people. I would love to to um, change the way they treat people who do struggle because sometimes I feel like people who struggle and who are public or openly about it or who are open about it that they are treated like it's not okay to struggle it's like okay don't tell me your problems I would change that because I would love to help um, and show people that we all do struggle and I am in the biggest struggle there is right now. So I, I do that too and I do understand it but I am not willing to give up. <clears throat> yes, that's what I would do. Um, do you believe in astrology? Why or why not? Um, I kind of do. <laughs> I kind of do. There are a lot of things that I can relate to. I'm a Capricorn. And I know that I do behave like a Capricorn, like a typical Capricorn from time to time. I I am stubborn, but I'm strong. This is like uh, the standing up for myself and other people. Um, I am sometimes impatient and this is what I'm learning right now. I'm really learning to be patient with things. I am I'm learning to be okay when I do write an email that the other one is not instantly answering <laughs> and I do have to wait for it. Um, I'm learning that and I am okay with it. So yes, I do. And sometimes it is, it is just so matching what happens with me and what the stars says 
that might happen to me and which then does happen right away. So, yes, I do believe that. Um, next. Have you ever lost a friend? If so, what happened? Um, well, I assume that the question means if I have, if a friend of mine did pass away. Nope. No friend of mine did pass away, and I, I don't count family members <laughs> to that. And I am not talking about this because it's, this is like the most hurting topic for me ever, so... So, but, uh, no, never a friend. I lost a couple of friends, but not that they passed away, it's just that they, we, we just went different directions. So, if you could only teach one thing to your future child, what would it be? Um, well, once again, the standing up for yourself and not remain quiet when there is something that bothers you speak your mind um, and I guess this will be the last question for today um, what's the scariest thing you've ever done and why did you do it that I have ever done uh, <clears throat> I don't even know. Oh, no, that was not, not, not on purpose, Gary. When I went out with my friends when I was younger, um, and they did party very long, longer than I wanted to or I could do because I was, I was not the party girl. Um, I had to walk across city or across my city to get to my car because I was always driving so I didn't have to um, get a taxi or a cab or whatever. I was always driving because I'm not really the alcohol drinking person. I don't like it. So. Um, and I had to walk like 20 minutes across the town at 1 or 2 a.m. Um, and that was a little bit scary all the time, but yeah, that is not, not something that I did on purpose. <laughs> it's just I had to because, yeah. All right. Um, Okay, <laughs> I guess I'm done with this video today. I think I will finish this section here and a little bit of here. So I'll just keep going and then we will see each other on my next video. Or you will hear me actually. <laughs> so if you just like talking to me listening to me, <laughs> listen what I say, what I answer to a lot of texts. If you want to, you see there are popping girls, oh my goodness. If you like me to do a specific tag, just text me, just write, <laughs> just do it and I will do the tag. So please subscribe, please hit this bell thing down there. I guess I'm somewhere there, and hope you hope we see each other on my next video. So, bye guys.